Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell, and man do I got an unbelievable unboxing. I just got it right now and I'm really excited uh, to show you guys. I can't wait, uh, I couldn't wait for you guys to actually see this. I am a big Castlevania fan. Uh, any of you guys that know me know this to be true. Doom is one of my favorite. Be sure to check out the Doom statuette if you didn't see it, uh, uh, if you didn't see it yet. It's really cool. Definitely recommend it in the Sub-Zero Ice uh, version. And now we're going to do an unboxing of Dragon. Dracula. Now, I know some of you guys uh, uh, wanted this like crazy and wanted Trevor Belmont. I looked all over. I found the Trevor, but it's a little bit far away from where I am. I will eventually obtain that within a week or two. I'm sure of it. Uh, but in the meantime, I got uh, Dracula himself, uh, one of my favorites, <laughs> favorite character. And to be honest, I don't know why they didn't have Simon Belmont. Why Trevor? But whatever. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. I already got the Amiibos for it. I, I wanted them to make an Amiibo for Dracula so I'm really glad and obviously Dracula was a Belmont if you guys know the story so that's really awesome uh, to, to go ahead and see so anyways let's do the unboxing right now and if you like what you see do like subscribe hit that bell button have a good one y'all let's get right into it <music> guys so this is pretty massive it's one of the biggest boxes i have and again this was the only one i kid you not only one that was in the gamestop mall okay the the one in the mall in queen center mall they only had one and you could see how defected this box looks and it was sitting there on, on top and they were the only ones that had it and if you look it's it says even on their website that it's not available at all uh you know not in in their stores or whatever and i went and looked and then when i saw it i fell in love and look guys this is vladimir dracul <laughs> this is dracula uh but uh the castlevania you know castlevania edition i really really love it uh if they ever have an alo card like this available again i will definitely look for that as well but you can see the condition of this box looks absolutely horrible uh, so anyways, let's do the unboxing. Hopefully everything is in uh, tip-top shape. It almost looks like it was opened uh, because uh, the, the the tape on this looks like uh, it's been reapplied or something. But then again, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it does kind of look like that. Um, maybe somebody wanted to look at it, see how it was. Oh, man. Oh, okay. And again, for the price you pay for this, it's 50 bucks. You would figure that you would get... Um, you know, soft packaging like foam or whatnot, but no, it comes <laughs> in this plastic poop. Let's see if this is like Doom and it's heavy and it's good material. Hopefully nothing's stuck in there. Um, looks like there's something in here. It's weird. The box is heavy, almost like they're trying to give you a false impression that this thing is sturdy, but we'll, we'll see right now. Uh, so this thing is pretty massive. So um, let me take this out. Oh held down by stickers but it definitely weighs less than the doom statuette so now i'm getting a little bit skeptical um because the box when they do that usually with boxes they make them heavy on the bottom uh if you, you know doom didn't do that obviously because it was heavy enough but they do that to kind of throw people off the uh, so you'll go ahead and buy uh things that are really crappy and uh here we go i'm removing it and i'm gonna tell you uh it doesn't weigh much uh this thing isn't solid i know it looks like it but it's not it's like a little empty shell i mean i would say i mean Richter Belmont was 30. This should have been 32, not 50. Uh, but uh, here we go, guys. I mean, it looks really awesome. Again, I really wish they made some LEDs here to light this up. I do love it that it's see-through. So guess what? Yours truly is going to make it in a red LED, and it's going to light up, and it's going to look really fun, does the girl? So anyways, let's look at him. I mean, he looks badass, guys. Complete badass. So first, we're going to do the bottom. We're going to spin them around, and then I'll do the uh, ruggedness, okay? Oh, look at those hands. Oh, my God. So detailed. I mean, even the fingernails. I think they should have made the fingernails black, but whatevs. Now, again, you could add your own custom paints to it if you want to. I think I'm going to do that. Fingernails black. I mean, come on, y'all. I was a, a part of the Vamp Club when I was younger, and, you know, 
I would never be seen. Yeah, I was one of those freaks. Anyways, <laughs> still am in many ways. My character even on Brood, uh, you can check me out on IMDb. We did a TV show uh, that was a uh, pilot, and I was uh, Christos the Vampire. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool. But uh, I didn't have black fingernails in that one. But uh, it was just about as awesome as he looks here. But this, he looks really awesome. It looks like an elf. <laughs> Dark elf. Looks really cool. Very detailed, just like in the video game. So this looks incredibly, amazingly real. So what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, because these things here, I mean, they're very bendable. Uh, he himself is a solid unit, so I really like that. Except if you look here, his clothes obviously bend. This thing bends, uh, but it's see-through, so that's pretty cool. This thing looks, it's just a piece of junk, but it's just, uh, you know, give it, if you look, uh, it gives it a... Uh, this feeling like he's on, uh, you know, some kind of stone or on a on a mountain or something. It looks really nice uh, to have as a displayer. Uh, not gonna even lie, this looks absolutely incredible. I just wish he was more, uh, you know, everything else. Uh, like they think about these things more. You charge fifty bucks, put a freaking LED on it. Charge even a hundred. You could probably do that. People will pay if you put some LEDs. Did I put LEDs on everything? So it's pretty cool. Uh, really, uh, it is massive. I mean, look at this with the Doom uh, character here. And Doom, uh, the Doom guy was also uh, massive. And he is, it's bigger than uh, than uh, the Doom guy. So this is really cool. Not as solid as uh, the Doom guy, but pretty freaking detailed and really awesome. I mean, look how crazy this looks. I'm going to try to get him in focus here. Let me just, this looks really detailed. I like the, the beard here. Really detailed, I mean, really awesome here. So what do you guys think of this? Uh, should I put some LEDs on this baby? I think because it's see-through, as you can see. This would be stupid not to put LEDs on this. It would be so cool. It's, it's like they almost did it because they wanted to do it. And then somebody probably in the production uh, told them, guys, then it's not going to be $50 anymore. We're going to have to charge $100. And they said, no, no, we want to stay within the $50 range. Just skip it. <laughs> so they did put at least the see-through here. So if you want to do some modification work, you guys are abso absolutely going to love it. I'm going to put probably uh, uh, flickering... Uh, uh, LEDs probably I'll make it flicker a little so when I want to turn it on I could just turn it on and off It's really easy you buy an LED strip and you hook it up to a battery compartment You could slide the battery compartment right here It'll be so easy to do and then you just turn it on and off You can put the switch anywhere or even on there and just turn it and it'll be uh, pulsating so some mod Modification work but 50 bucks. I would think it you know if Trevor Belmont cost 35 and he, he's he's massive uh, But you know, he doesn't look really like these detailed statuettes the, he looked more like a like a barbie doll so i didn't really you know like the way he looked but uh you guys did request that i am hunting him down and when i do i'll get him and do a review for you but uh i really like the way he looks i really think it's really awesome and i hope they have simon belmont and alucard i'll take them all i don't even care and i do love the detail in this as you can see the detail in this is really nice i just wish it wasn't this empty plastic it's like so and you could tell here something was going on. They wanted to put a battery compartment here. I promise you. It looks like that's what they were going for. They were going to put a battery compartment here. Something here. Because look, why would this be here? You could tell something was up. And this is what it looks like. It does not look like uh, they were... And you could see here... Um, hold on. His uh, cape goes up to here. But there's nothing here. Well, you know, It looks like it was set up even for wires to go through. But they didn't do it. So... I'm going to do it. <laughs> so it's going to be really cool to have this little baby up uh, on display. Let me know what you guys think. As always, guys, this is the People's Channel. I'm not a career YouTuber. This is an honest guy telling you how it is. And you guys are honest. We all give uh, the truth. And this is our chance to give back to the community by helping people make better informed decisions. That's why I opened this channel. I got sick of those paid-for reviewers telling you things are good when it's not. And I got fooled so many times as a kid by all these reviewers... <laughs> 
reviewers. Uh, so that's why I opened this channel in the first place. Uh, I thank so much of you guys that say, go, Lior, we want to do uh, for you Patreon, sign up to our Patreon. I thank you, but I'd rather you guys save that money and buy your own toys and, you know, your own stuff and, and uh, you know, uh, give it to real charities out there. We're, you know, I, I'm working my jobs. I'm, I'm making this happen, and I'm good, and I thank you, and I love you for offering that. Absolutely love you, but like I said, I'd rather you guys uh, spend that money and uh, on real charities or buy yourself one of these babies once you guys are ready and for your family and all that. This is really good. Any Castlevania fan will absolutely love this. I promise you. Yes, some modification work need be done. Yes, you could see they had it planned, uh, but they screwed up. Uh, and uh, don't worry about it. In fact, I'm willing to bet this thing, because it's so hollow, it probably even had a cover like that was here and kind of stayed. And they just said, ah, you know what, just let's scratch it, but let's just re-release. I mean, you could see... You can see something's not right here. I mean, you could clearly see there's like pegs here. This thing was supposed to close and turn, and they just said, okay, let's just make it like this. So that's kind of shitty, and I'm going to say I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because of that. But in terms of detail, really cool. Definitely a 10 out of 10. In terms of ruggedness, an 8 out of 10 because there is a lot of bendable parts here that you got to be careful with. If I drop this, I'll be scared I'll break it almost definitely. Where the Doom guy dropped and nothing happened, as you guys saw. So it was really, really cool. I mean, it was an epic fail. <laughs> what I did, but it wasn't really a fail. It was a good way to test out how good it is, and it was like a, what, like over a three foot drop, and he succeeded. This thing would almost definitely, I'm willing to bet, break. Uh, and you could see here, even in the how they put it in, uh, it's not. It's like something you you want to leave and and not touch uh, if you could. But uh, definitely put LEDs and stuff if you could uh, on it. You'd absolutely love it. So, anyways, let me know what you guys think. Like, subscribe, hit that bell button. This is our chance to give back to the community by helping them make better informed decisions. So I want to hear, did you get this? Are you planning on getting it? It's sold out everywhere. Where are you looking? Do not go to eBay because they're going to overcharge you. Look everywhere on every GameStop. Anything you could do and see if you're, you'll find it like I did. And eventually you'll find it around your area. Now I have a lot of GameStops around my area, as shocking as it may be. I mean, but some of them really far. And uh, there's some things like Trevor that is really far away from me. And I'm going to have to make a, a special trip there. You guys requested I said I'm going to get it. And eventually I will. So uh, definitely stay tuned for that. Uh, whenever I get it, I will do a... a unboxing for y'all uh and uh yeah we'll do whatever needs to be done but uh this thing definitely an overall rating of 8 out of 10 i'm gonna say probably 8.5 out of 10 uh really nice though i definitely do recommend it especially to modders out there is a must i must uh, as a must i recommend it in fact i think what i'm gonna do is probably put um something uh, melt, melted uh, plastic or something here to kind of fill it up to make it nice and straight and it'll be like a real block and then it'll be pretty heavy and, and nice but uh, I might use it as a battery compartment to put here and something to close it so we'll see but definitely something really cool definitely recommend it have a good one y'all take care bye bye as always guys if you like what you see self-funded here be sure to check out all my other uh, stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come, definitely want you guys in it. And I, wanted, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.